What's going on guys, I'm going to make another video, in this one I'm going to be showing you how to make a modern house, yes another one, one of many. Um, I really don't know what I have to say in this video, um, Minecraft is still being weird so I cannot get my normal skin back, I don't know why it's doing that, it is, um, I don't know, it's being dumb. Time for a new console, but yeah. I don't know, honestly. Um, if you hear any noises out of the ordinary, the window's open, so people can probably hear me talking to absolutely no one. And is that awkward? Probably. <laughs> but whatever, you know what? I'm not afraid for people to understand that I have a YouTube channel. I've said this a couple times, but so many people are like, hey, this guy's a YouTube channel. Like, in my school, so many people just figure it out. I personally don't care. It doesn't really affect me. Other than the subscriber count, which has been stuck at 107 for the past week or whatever. The space you're needing for this house is a 26 by 26, and the materials you'll be doing are. Ne not doing. Needing are gray cotton crates white cotton crate white stained glass pane light gray cotton crate white stained glass blocks acacia doors stone bricks I have the hiccups quartz slabs and I believe that is it there are a lot of dogs barking. There are literally only like three dogs on my street that don't really no that don't normally bark. And Bailey is not one of them. My next door neighbor's dog, my friend's dog, and then the dog that is up the street by two houses. It's, just, it's a fun neighborhood. So start at the front left hand corner of your twenty six by twenty six grid cough cough if you made it. You're gonna count right by one and place a grid concrete. Move backwards with eight gray concrete. And you're gonna wanna bring all this up by a number that I should know. By nine. I'm gonna make sure that that's correct. It is. Um if one of my neighbors hears me talking, that would be really awkward. <laughs> But whatever, you know what? I do this for a reason. I do YouTube for a reason. What is that reason? Do I really have a reason that I do it? To entertain the public in stupid ways. That's... That's why. Um... I don't really know, honestly. Oh yeah, the mini player's off. Forgot that's a thing. Um... Hold on to your shoes. <clears throat> and you should have a th th this. Come to the second row back and you're going to replace a row of stone bricks that is one block short of the gray concrete. Bring that row right by two. Still with stone bricks. So it should be a row of nine total. And then the first row that you place you're going to bring back with... 11 rows of stone brick. The reason, um, we're just kind of placing it here just to kind of make it a total wall instead of just kind of leaving some of it out. Originally, I actually had this gray concrete wall shorter, but I extended it. Oops. I extended it because of, um, the roof. I kind of was trying to figure out a good way to do it, and I guess I found an okay way. You should have this. I am freezing because of the window being open. It's only like 60 out. Why am I so cold? Um, What shall we do next? Okay. Take out your white stained glass blocks. And from the bottom right corner of this, you're going to go backwards down to the right by one and place a white stained glass pane. <clears throat> going right from this place in the Acacia door and then to white stained glass block. Did I say pane first? I might have said pane because they all should be white stained glass blocks. Bring up every single glass block by two with glass blocks. And then bring up the door with one glass block. 
There is a lot of glass involved in this build. This might have the most glass of a modern. Actually, I think it'd be the modern mansion that I made with the indoor swimming pool. Why? I don't want to use a blanket. It's a long story. Um, it's not actually that long. Anyways, um... You're gonna bring back these three white stained glass blocks back with white stained glass blocks by six. Just like that. Place a little white concrete behind it and also a little on top of the glass. We'll be dealing with that later. It looks a little ugly right now because it's all glass blocks and they don't have like that nice thinner layer which looks better but yeah we'll be dealing with that later going right from these from this bottom white concrete you're gonna place an acacia door a white concrete two white stained glass panes and a white concrete copy that row two more times sort of except don't do not copy the door so only copy the window and the concrete and also place the concrete on top of the door is it a three? I want to make sure that that's correct, because it might not be correct. It is correct. Place a little white concrete on top of this. Oops, god dang it. Now, this is where it's interesting. You're going to have to listen to this step very closely. I so badly want to close that window. I see one of the fire bellies. I'm staring at it. Anyways. These white concretes, only these above the white stained glass blocks, you're going to extend outwards of a with white concrete. I have to make sure this is correct. I have photos, so I hope I took photos. I did. I don't know why I didn't remember that. I just didn't. Okay. You should have this. You should have a little four here. So this row of four white concrete, sorry about that voice crack. You're gonna bring it forward with three rows of light gray concrete. I think, yeah. Bring the top light gray concrete of this section, take it in the top left corner and bring it right by 11 with light gray concrete. And then connect the right row down to the ground. Fill in this open gap here with white stained glass pans. Now with this, there are either two ways you can take this. You can make it as a garage, a glass garage, or you can, you can turn it into a garage if you want. Or it can just be a giant window. Personal preference, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a little bit long for my garages, but yeah. I should have brought down my blanket, whatever. Steve is very cle creepy, creepy because he blinks. I'm not good at English, aren't I? Are, are I? Are I? Am I? Speaking of, you're gonna place a row of gray concrete to the right of this row of light gray concrete that is 10 blocks tall. I'm gonna make sure that's correct again. I'm pretty sure it is. It is. So you should have this. Bring this row of gray concrete forwards by two rows with gray concrete. And also backwards by two rows with gray concrete. Turtle's filter is very loud. You should have this. Moving swiftly along. I'm going to bring every single one of these white concretes here. Only these that we extended outwards of our up by two rows with white concrete. Actually, you can bring all the white concretes if you'd like. So, just like that. Just do that. That's all you need to do, I believe. I'm gonna check that really quick, yeah. So, you should have this. It doesn't matter if you do this or you're not gonna see it either way, right? Are you? What's the build looking like over there? Yeah, you won't see it. I'm just gonna do it, though. Just for the heck of it. Just for a good old time. Going from this front left corner around the build, you're gonna wanna place one white concrete, three white stained glass panes, one white concrete, go backwards with, I believe it's seven white stained glass panes. Is it six, isn't it? Yeah, it's six. So it's six white stained glass panes. 
then two white concrete, right with one white concrete, one white stained glass panes, and either one white concrete or two white concrete, depends how many you have there. You're gonna want to copy that row one more time. Please load phone, thank you very much. Um. And then you're gonna replace one row of white, white concrete on top of all of that. Just like that. We are moving very quickly along. The fun is the hardest part, too. I need a drink of water. It's been, like, literally 11 minutes, so... <clears throat> Much better. I think. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see. I'm gonna take this row of white concrete, so this is where you should have placed it. If you did not place it, don't worry. Just take this five rows of white concrete and place it on top of these three light gray concrete. And then it wants to extend forward by an additional row. Just like that. Now the way I designed this, I kind of didn't do this on purpose. This is actually one block lower than this. Which, I guess looks better. Because if you had, I mean unless you extend this one lower one, that'd be fine. But I think it looks better personally this way, because it's different, and it's also, if you make this one block, like if you do get rid of this row and just have it like that, it does not look very good. Just because of the, it being glass blocks, and you can't really make it panes because the door, unless you want to sit on the door in white concrete, or block of quartz or whatever, that's fine. It's up to you. You're gonna want to extend this row right by a number that I actually cannot calculate because, yeah, I'm dumb, that's why. Um, one, two, three, four, five. You're gonna extend it right by five rows with white concrete. Now take the bottom two rows and extend them right until they hit the gray concrete. And do the same with the top row. Place a row of white concrete on the right side and then fill in this uh, five by two gap in with white stained glass panes. You can only place a row of gray concrete that does, if you guys have seen my other modern houses, it basically does what the quartz slabs normally do. So come to this front left corner and you're gonna go right until it overhangs the side by one. Then go backwards and then right. And then forwards until it is extended out by one and then right. And then it should connect to the other great concrete. So it should look like this. So you're going to want to take this um, back right corner of great concrete and it's going to want to extend left until it touches this. And then this is going to want to extend left until it touches that. Fill in these two sections in with great concrete. I went to the Caps game last night. Just a random thing that was, um, a, it was a fun game. But it was the first time the Capitals lost in regulation when I was at the game. Excluding preseason. I would like to calculate every single game that I've gone to and seen what the Capitals total record is. It's probably like five, one, no, I've been more, the more, rec more than that amount of game. Probably like six, one, and three or something like that. That'd be ten games. I might have been, I've probably been to more than that. Whatever. This is the fun of your build complete. Now we're gonna go to the left side, I guess, because that's the more intricate of the sides. And you're gonna take this bottom back corner, of s bottom back block of stone brick, and then you're gonna go backwards side until the left by one and place a white concrete. <clears throat> Bring this white concrete backwards with six white stained glass panes, 
and then bring this back white stained glass panes, right with five white stained glass panes, and a white concrete. Copy that row two more times. And then place two rows of white concrete on top of this. <clears throat> You're gonna want to basically copy this shape on this next row. So white concrete, then six white stained glass panes, then white with five white stained glass panes, then a white stained glass pane. And then copy that row two more times. Ah, yes. That is Bailey in a nutshell for you. Barking at probably nothing. <clears throat> You're gonna place a row of white concrete on top of that. <clears throat> I do not know why my voice likes to do this in videos sometimes. It was like a normal video, I'd be like, whatever. <coughs> but tutorials I have to talk in a lot, so, hmm. It sucks. We're gonna want to, so you're gonna want to come to this white concrete, and if you're on the back of the build, you're gonna want to come diagonally to the left towards you with a light gray concrete. To bring it towards you by three blocks. Left with... Sixteen light gray concrete. And then you're going to want to connect it to that light gray concrete. So to make sure that you did this correctly, I'm going to tell you the number. It's going to be 16 again. <clears throat> you're going to place two additional rows of light gray concrete on top of your first row of light gray concrete. If you'd like to add more windows again, do so. It's always a good thing to do on modern houses. Unless it's like... A ridiculous amount already. Did I do say that wrong? Yeah, you want another row. So you want to have four total rows. So you should have had your one row and you should add three rows, not two rows. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes it's true. You're gonna want to, okay, hang on. I do not know how this works. Okay, I do now. You're gonna take this white concrete here. You should see the one that I'm highlighting. So if you come to the bottom corner of the white stained glass panes and then go down diagonally by one, you're gonna go backwards with five white concrete. Then you want to go left with 17 white concrete from my perspective, so from the back of the build. And then you're gonna want to connect it to that white concrete. Um, let me check something on my pictures. Okay. And on, this is the back of the build. This totally is. So from this row of white concrete, this row of three, you're gonna want to go backwards with five white stained glass pans, then go right with four white stained glass pans. Then a number that I don't know. Hang on, I can calculate this. Then right with, or left, sorry, with eight white concrete. Then four white single glass pans and one white concrete. I can't believe I actually figured that out. You're going to want to copy that row two more times. Pains are annoying, but whatever. They're one of the cooler looking blocks in the game for houses. They're one of the best blocks to use for houses in the game. Not like a whole house, but like 
to detail the house there. That's what I'm looking for. You can replace it with white cotton crude right on top of this. And you have one side left and then the roof. This right side is just going to want to be a full wall of white concrete. I couldn't think of the word for some reason. I do not know why. So, with that, there you go. Now for the roof, which is where these little puppies come in hand. The quart slabs. So come to, I'm gonna say the right gray cotton court, and you're gonna bring this back corner backwards with quartz slabs until it overhangs the back of the build by one. Then go left until you overhang this side by one. And then move inwards until you're in this corner. Then left till you overhang by one. And then forward until you overhang by one, then right by one block, and then connect it to the gray concrete. So it should look like this. This is the shape you should have. As you can see, the white concrete or the stone bricks, whatever it may be, is basically a row inside of the white concrete. And you also do have the sharp edges, which kind of, they kind of are a character trait of modern houses, I feel like. Just like very blocky. And this is Minecraft. You're gonna wanna fill in the roof in with, you're gonna fill the rest of the roof in with quartz slabs, oops. Yeah, don't do that, that's not, um, not ideal. I hate doing that personally. You just place a block and you're like, oh man, that's wrong. anything to say honestly I don't normally I do but I don't today or right now on the fact that it's Sunday once you have filled in your roof with quartz slabs ladies and gentlemen that is your modern house complete that's a, the, the blink is so creepy. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video as I hit wrong buttons, and I save this into a playlist as usual, which is probably useless. Because, yeah, because the kids thing. But if it changes, you never know. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, regardless, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!